Today, we're gonna create this Vox style text scroll effect in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in. In your edit page, add a fusion composition and then open in the fusion page. Open the select tool, add a media in node, connect it to the media out, select the media in node under media source, change the source from timeline to background. Go back into the editing page and move the fusion clip up one space. Now you can add any background. I just went and got some paper texture. I'm just gonna drag it underneath the fusion composition and then I'm gonna jump back into fusion. Now the paper texture will appear in the fusion page. So first thing we're gonna do is add a merge node on this line. Add a text node and connect it to the merge. Add our text list. So I'm just gonna copy and paste my list here. I'm gonna make it black and then decrease the size. Change the font to Georgia Bold and now we can decrease the size a little bit more. Go to frame 60 under layout, under center the Y, let's pull it down so that the first word is somewhere in the middle. Probably gonna be 0.25. Now we're gonna add a keyframe on Y and then go back to frame zero and then pull this up out of the screen. Open our spline window, select everything and zoom to fit. S on your keyboard, control T and you can ease in and out like this or you can select the last part, what I like to do, and just drag it out. Add a rectangle node and connect it to the text node. Fra on frame 60, that's where the animation stopped. Now we're gonna change the height and the width of the rectangle. Add a merge node on this line again. Copy the rectangle, paste an instance of that. Add a background node, connect the rectangle to the background node and connect the background node to the new merge node. Now. On the instance of the rectangle, go to the solid box, right click and de instance, and then the same with border width. So on border width, right click and select de instance. Now you can uncheck the solid box and then increase the border width just a little bit. I'm going to uncheck the show view controls, go back into the text under layout. I'm just going to increase this so it just sits in the middle of the box. Now we can do the same with the text, copy the text, the same thing. We're going to paste an instance of this text and then connect it to a new merge. Select the merge, connect it to the instance text and under blend, drag it down, add another merge node, connect a background to that merge and then select the polygon connect it to the background on the screen draw your line across the word like this go to border width increase the border border style select this one so that the edges are flat we can change the background to a yellow orange yellow color on the polygons merge change the apply mode from normal to multiply uh, open the select tool search for displace add it below the background of the polygon open the select tool again and search for fast noise connect the fast noise to the displace node like this change the displace strength and refraction play around with the offset and on the fast noise you can increase the scale so you can see more detail and increase the detail as well uh, until you get like a result that you want selecting the polygon let's go to frame 30 on length selecting the polygon add a keyframe there and then on frame 70 we're going to add another keyframe go back to frame 30 and drag it down open the spline window uh, uncheck the text and the instance zoom to fit select everything check this lock ease in and ease out and then we can increase or decrease that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this last part a little bit more towards frame 60 and and that's better. Add another merge node just before the media out and then click on an empty space here and add the luma key, the one with LKY in brackets, add that in. Now we want the media in connected to the luma key and the luma key connected to the last merge. Go to the luminance channel and drag these sliders up or down depending on what we want so let's go to below gamma select the invert box and now everything's inverted now we can drag this last part up now we get this nice texture the last step go to the last frame frame 60 select the rectangle add a keyframe on width and then go back to frame zero and then we're going to drag this out open the spline window select only the rectangle zoom to fit select all the keyframes 
ace on your keyboard, drag the last part out. That's how you do the Vox style animation but you can do the same effect in literally seconds. First thing we're gonna do is add our paper texture. Then we're gonna go to titles, add a text plus, add in our list, change the color, change the style, add a keyframe at the start of the clip and then go to 60 frames or so up and add a keyframe there and go back to zero and then move it out of the way. We've got our words coming in. From here on, it's pretty easy. The first plugin we can use is Highlight Pro, drag it onto the timeline, and then I'm just gonna change the size quickly and move it across, rotate the angle. On the composite mode, I'm gonna put it on multiply under effects, change the texture quickly, increase the blend, how much of the texture I want, and that's literally the highlight in seconds. There we go, pre-animated. Under effects, I'm gonna drag in magnify and drop it on top of this. And now I've got a couple of controls here. Choose the square, increase the width and drop the height. Decrease the magnification by a lot. Go to border controls and change this to black. Uncheck the low. Go to animation and turn the animation off. And then a little bit of a background blur, but not too much. There we have it. This took me less than two minutes to do. We can even animate the background to darken when the background Runs like this it can go dark or we can blur it more so it's from no blur to a lot of blur so we've got this nice lens effect since we have more time left to do more stuff we can add something else so let's drag another instance of highlight pro on top of this and let's select the arrow i'm going to choose the color just to see what i'm doing zoom in a little bit enable the fusion overlay now i can draw with the arrows i'm just going to quickly draw something this is the point right about here and then i'm going to right click and go to arrow one shape animation select click and append so i can click and add to this line i wanted to make a little circle right here and then go like this and then go down and right about there change the color to a grayish color let's play it back see what it does this animation is too fast. So let's go to animation controls and time seconds. Let's up it to about two seconds. There we go. So this is the type of effects that you can do with these plugins. Starting today, I'm running a sale for 30% off if you buy both plugins. Uh, use the code JOEVANS30. This sale will run for just a few days. So if you want 30% off, get it now. Use the code and the links in the description. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the comments and thank you for the suggestions. I appreciate every single one of them. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.